Okay, good morning, everybody. What a great morning it is. It's time for Morning Manor. So glad to be with you on this morning. I'm going to give Facebook Live a couple of seconds to pull our audience together and so that we can start our Morning Manor. It's Monday. Happy Monday. Going to have a great week. I hope you're looking to have a great week as uh, well as I certainly am looking to have a great week. And so if it's your first, second, or third time joining us, always let us know who you are, where you are. We'd like to shout you out. And we want to give you the ground rules of Morning Manor. Always send your hearts, your likes. It's the Facebook Live version of Amen. Give us your comments as well because we like to see uh, what you have to say. We respond throughout the day. And it helps others to see what was said uh, so that they can get the revelation that you got. And then finally, share the manner. It's the text, the talk, and the takeaway. I don't know about you, but last night as I watched the Academy Awards, I enjoy seeing the winners. <clears throat> I enjoy seeing the winners. And uh, when I watched the winners, this text came to my mind. Here's the text this morning. It's Psalms 139, 16. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. All the days written for me were ordained by you before one of them came to be. What are you talking about here, Bishop? Here is God in Psalms 139 telling us that he is already preordained that we're winners. Now, what do we have to do? I notice in every speech of the winner, they always have this one thing, this subtext, subline that is going on that helps us to grab out of the revelation from this text. Winners don't ask what was. None of them talked about what was. They had three questions, and I think they are questions that are relevant to the text. Here's the first question. Here's the first question. What if? What if? Losers always talk about what was. Winners always talk about what if. When you want to be a winner and you want to walk in the things that God has for you, talk about what if, the possibilities. Not what was, what didn't go right. Why didn't I get the Academy? Why didn't I get the Oscar? Why didn't I succeed in all that I'm trying to do? Not what was, but what if, what are the possibilities? Here's the second question that you got to ask, and that is, what could be? What could be? Now you say, now Bishop, what is the difference here? What if are the possibilities? What could be are the options. And therefore, it requires Romans 8.28. Romans 8.28, and that is God can take the could be's and work them together for your good. He can work those things together for your good. So it's not just the possibilities, it's what are the options that happens after the possibilities and God will work them together for the good. And here's the third thing that winners ask. Here's the third thing, what will be? What will be? Winners always ask what will be. They walk in the faith and this is what God is saying through the pen of David in the Psalm 139, 16. I've already ordained you being a winner. It's up to you to walk in the will be. It's up to you to look at the possibilities. It's up to you to look at all of the could be's, not what was. So on this day, let's start the week out right. Let's start the week out getting our Academy Award from God because he's already ordained us to be winners. God never wrote a tragedy story for any of us. He writes us in his book as winners. What's your takeaway this morning? And what's your takeaway for this week as we start Morning Manna? God ordained you to be a winner. Walk in it. He ordained you to be a winner. Walk in it. The Lord be with you today. May his face shine upon you and give you peace. I'll see you tomorrow morning with more Morning Manna. Share the manner. God bless you. Bye now.